what is the black girlfriend effect? This is oh, you, you just this. glow up the other culture. Yeah, so you'll see a, a, a guy who's had a black girlfriend, all of a sudden he's got buzz cut, like, yeah. clean shape up. Nah, he's too nah, yeah. 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 I like that. I like that. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> they yeah. shave their hair because they start losing it. Because it's so stressed <laughs> being around this black girl complaining about shit all the time. Hey beautiful people, how you are doing today? It's your girl Destiny here and welcome to my channel. How you are doing? Hope you guys are doing great. So today's video, we're talking about the podcast duo, James and Fuha. Sorry if I'm not pronouncing that name correctly, but I'm, I'm sorry, bro. But yeah, James and Fuha, uh, they are a, a British, um, UK based podcast duo that they've made with like huge they are huge in the uk they are used generally on the social media platform but now people are not happy with them especially black women they are calling them out on their behavior and some of the things they did of recent which we're going to get into if you don't know who james and fuha is like please google them they are one of those podcasts bro that are very I, I would say very reasonable until now that i feel like they are very neutral they don't go with the oh um oh man has to do the do masculine no 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 they are very neutral kiki kaka kiki kaka and they are massive you need to say they sold out the o2 arena i think this year if i'm not mistaken they are massive on social media people love them i love them i watch their content but they are on the news now because James and Fua, I think they are in the U.S. doing a tour, if I'm not mistaken. And they are being called out by people, especially black women, for not really into black women, for not liking black women, for talking down on black women. So this is what happened. James and Fua, first of in two incidents is why they are calling them out, okay? James and Fua uh, went to a podcast of some ladies, and they were talking about how they were in Atlanta and the ATL, I had way in ATL and they did not see any bad bitch. And they just got a lot of people talking, oh, like you are you were in ATL or you are in ATL and you say you don't see any bad like why ATL is full of beautiful black women. So how come you're saying that you like oh there is no black and people are saying it's more like it's just like a thing for black like they don't like black women and that's why they don't consider it pretty and then they went to another podcast that is hosted by a white dude and the white dude was asking them about the black girl effect thing how black girls transform white male transform men and they were like oh yeah and the podcaster were well, the white dude were just being off about it and it was talking some kind of things about black women and they were just there kiki kaka and laughing to it and this has not sit well with a lot of people. A lot of people have so much to say. So we're going to check out the two podcasts and then people's response to from uh, James and Fuha, what they said and what they think about them. Because now the people are like, you know what, we're going to cancel them. Anyway, guys, let's go check out this video and then I'll come back and share my tip. And let me know down in the comment section, do you watch James and Fuha? Do you, uh, do you know them before now? Let us know down in the comment section. So let's go check out the actual videos clip that's gotten people angry with them and also people respond to it what is the black girlfriend effect this is oh, you, just, you just glow up the other culture yeah so you'll see a, a, a guy who's had a black girlfriend all of a sudden he's got buzz cut like yeah clean shape up nah, nah, yeah. 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 i like that, like that. Yeah. Like like that. that. <laughs> they yeah. shave their hair because they start losing it because it's so stressed <laughs> being around this black girl complaining about shit all <laughs> That's why they gotta shave their nah, hair. Nah, bro. White guys with black girlfriends, they, they, they grow step, a beard they because there's up. more cushion when they get slapped. The <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. I think I think the black girlfriend effect. Hmm. It might be a protective instinct, bro. You think? Protective. Yeah. Do you guys? Do you guys? Have you ever had black girlfriends? Yeah. 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 Do you, have you ever had white girls? Yeah. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. What's your favorite? <laughs> <laughs> We love them all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Just, really? We love them all. Yeah. That means white. Who gets here? That means white. Hey, let me do the no. translation. Kendrick <laughs> fans, get him! <laughs> we love them hey, all. That's, that's yeah, royal English for <laughs> I've seen the least bodies so far. Oh, yeah. thank God we ain't from here. I'm a Texas girl. You ain't offending me none. <laughs> <laughs> you see that ain't like you see. We still got a couple days. Maybe we'll find out. But yeah, yeah. I, I've seen like two or three. Hey, but what is y'all's type though? Bad is the type. But facts. <laughs> so what makes a girl bad? It varies though. It, it matters how you own it. It, it can be a, like a skinny girl who wears the 
being a skinny girl. Mm. And, she just, and then you've got a thick thing who just owns the shit out of being a thick thing. And it's bad as bad as bad. That's a PR answer. A PR answer. Right. They're all beautiful. If you have. I'm not I... saying everyone's beautiful. I just told you Atlanta's okay. clap. <laughs> <laughs> I never said everyone's beautiful. I just said I'm not seeing anybody here. You know what's funny That's about crazy. Atlanta, though? Atlanta has a lot of transplants. So a lot of the people that live here, yeah. like, you rarely run into people when you're out and stuff that are from Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Like, the real Atlanta people, they be in the trenches, like, off oh. of Cascade. We about to get jumped next time we go out. <laughs> Cleveland Ave. That's what they be. <laughs> what? Up. We live here, man. I don't go to Cleveland Ave. I'm not getting jumped. Names and Fuhad are trending because people are saying that they don't like black women, right? Basically, they went on a podcast and said that they're currently in Atlanta and have not seen no bad. So everyone has come to the conclusion that the reason why they feel as though there are no bad is because the women are brown. <laughs> I'm going to play devil's advocate, but when you go and visit like any place, you usually go to the touristy spots, you feel me? So like when people come to New York, oh, I'm, I've been to New York. I went to Times Square. I went to go see the Statue of Liberty. Ain't no bad bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no about the Statue of Liberty, and there's barely any in Times Square. You are gonna find them in Harlem. You are gonna find them in Brooklyn. You are gonna find them in Queens. The woman who they were speaking to basically said the same thing I'm saying. You gotta go to the right spot. I'm, I'm trying to help y'all, but I'm not gonna lie. Do you know how much is in Atlanta? Uh, mm -hmm. And James, aren't you Trini? You don't like at Oh. Mm. <laughs> you disappointed me. You disappointed me. Months ago, I literally made a video about James and Fuhad and said these are the only men that deserve to have microphones. Mm. But you know what? Put your trust in a stupid how you figure. Mm -hmm. I just... To sit there and allow a man of Caucasian descent to say disparaging things about black women and you're and then to say you don't find the women in Atlanta attractive. Atlanta, yes, Atlanta I will say Atlanta has a, a certain aesthetic but they are such they still have a very good um variety of women there right so there's more than enough to to choose from if you're choosing but i think that from their response to the question that was posed to them Black women might not be your stilo, and that's okay, and that's okay, but just say that, but just say that, but I think that they have they also recognize that a big portion of their demographic that watch them are black women are black women, so they try to avoid the question, and I'm just disappointed, I'm disappointed in myself. Cause I should have known better. Should have known better. <laughs> this was very reminiscent of Quinn sitting down with that white guy who was making weird jokes. Do you guys remember that whole situation? I can't remember his name. He was making fun of Fanita and said something about like her skin tone in front of um, Quinn. And people were upset with her for not defending a fellow black woman. This is that. It was obvious, like, the uncomfortable, like, ha-ha-hee-hee -hee mm -hmm. to try to not make it awkward. But, babe, I'm sorry. Let's make it awkward. Let's make it real uncomfortable. What the f are you talking about? Mm -hmm. James and Fuhad. Hello. Your main demographic. Mm -hmm. I'm actually genuinely shocked. James and Fuhad. Is that how you say it? I thought we were safe. I thought I thought the girlies were safe with you. Like <laughs> anytime 
anytime black women try to be fans of black men in some capacity, there is, it just feels like betrayal. It just feels like betrayal. I just saw the clip of, you know, the guys from the Shits and Gates podcast with Andrew Schultz. And like, they really, they really sat there and Googled while Andrew like spouted all types of stereotypes about us. And then to be like, I ain't seen no baddies in Atlanta. James. Flawed. I. See. Parasocial relationships be messing us up. You know what I'm saying? They they be messing us up where we feel too close to people and we don't know them people. And, and, and this one, this is one. This is one that has me messed up because re- you guys really just... Wow. Uh, wow. Wow. And I know, I know y'all going to come on here with the Diaspora Awards and they're, you know, they're British black and all that, but still. That hurts, man. That hurts, bruh. That is, wow. I just, I just want to be able to, like, (laughs) I just want to be able to, like, a famous man. Not black, white, purple, green, Hispanic, uh, Asian, however, however he comes, I just want to be able to like a famous man, because as soon, as soon as, as soon as, you'd be like, yo, I rocks with that one, boop, they, they go and say or do some, uh, wow, just wow. I'm not going to hold the door on this one. Those slides from across the pond, literally, literally, they would have done better to say, I just don't date black women. I'm not attracted to the melanin queens. Not really my cup of tea, if you know what I mean. Um, Just not really my flavor of chocolate. Not really a chocolate guy myself, you know, because... To get on anybody podcast microphone and say there is no bad in Atlanta, in Atlanta, that is not Atlanta. <laughs> you and that is so crazy. You know why it's so crazy to me? Because you in the UK, you have like who look like Thames Rock. <laughs> you have who look like Tammy walking around Thames. So you mean, so, 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 so what that tells me? What that, not, not, I don't want, listen, you're attracted to who you're attracted to, but my God, my God, you're wrong. <laughs> you mean, because if you came to Atlanta, Atlanta, and you said, no, it's no, it's no, it's no, it's no Rough. That means when you're at home across the pond and Thames walks past, you said that's not a b- ah. Bruv is not right. <laughs> I'm sorry. I guess I have a whole different outlook on this James or Fuhad situation because what is the big deal? Yeah, your feelings is hurt. Yeah, he didn't protect black women, but you no. Honestly, what you should be doing is thanking that man. Thank you for not being protective of black women mm-hmm. because bullying in a man or men. To want to protect something that they don't have intentions of protecting mm-hmm. is not going to change their mind. Because yeah. if they come back to the internet tomorrow and say, oh my God, black women, I'm so sorry. You guys are the queens. It's not truly coming from a good place. It's coming from a place of bullying. They were bullied to the point where they had to come back and say something. Yeah. Because honestly, who cares? Like, <sighs> are we really surprised that they wouldn't protect black women? Are we surprised that any man that a lot of us sleep with or a lot of us are in relationship with that keep breaking our hearts, that keep cheating on us, actually do like black women? No. I mean, let's keep it a stack, y'all. Mm-hmm. Like, bullying men to, or even making discords. Making discords of, oh my God, I can't believe you don't protect black women. <laughs> exactly.
there's men out there that do want to protect black women and when men like this speak up and they actually show let them let them say what they gotta say because now you know okay that's that's one person that i shouldn't be surrounding myself with mm -hmm. okay that's one person i shouldn't be supporting making a discord about something like ugh, leave it alone baby like pressuring people to protect black women that they don't want to protect it is what it is yeah. there's a lot of black men out there there's a lot of men that are not black that are willing to die on the lawn for a black woman when those men speak up let's praise those giving attention to a man or men that don't speak up when they're supposed to are we really surprised instead of feeding into that y'all let's find a man that do want to protect us okay when they come on the net and they say black women are so beautiful they gorgeous mm, let's blow them videos up let's stop feeding into this man because they already know this is triggered these are trigger words these are trigger <laughs> y'all ain't learned yet they do these things they put these things on podcasts because they could have easily dismiss that entire episode they could have easily edited things out but they chose to keep it in because they knew it was going to create a confuffle they knew it was and you walked right into it black women time for you to pick up your gucci bag take your beautiful black behind and leave it alone because at the end of the day they know who they like they know what they want to protect and it ain't you I'm gonna make this real quick because I'm driving, but I'm seeing a lot of videos about the James and Fuha situation. Um, the only thing I want to say about that is the British. What were y'all really expecting? They're British. And also, if you watch their podcast, I haven't seen an episode of their podcast that lets on that they prefer black women or whatever the case may be they don't talk bad about black women on their podcast um but it's not giving i ride for my sisters like i'm not sure where the confusion is <sighs> they're british i never even heard of the shits and giggles podcast until today so clearly i've learned a lot about them within the past 24 hours um, so of course, if you don't know, they did a, a podcast interview with Poor Minds and they said that there's no baddies in Atlanta. And they also did an interview with Andrew Schultz in which Andrew Schultz basically just insults black women and they sit there and they laugh. Not surprised by Andrew Schultz because we already know about him. Crystal's band told us about him. I have an unpopular opinion about all of this. I spent five years in Phoenix, Arizona after living in Atlanta for over 10, right? And one thing that I learned while living there is that those black men who only date outside of their race they are the worst type of men not even black just they are the worst type of men period i had a lot of non-black homegirls in phoenix who dated these black men and when i tell you they used to be putting them through hell even in la i know a couple of girls non-black girls or women who date black men exclusively and they be putting them through hell too like they are not they are the worst of the worst the self-hate is getting projected onto these non-black women um the fact that I, I feel like also a lot of black men want to date outside of their race exclusively because they're running from trauma and they feel like that trauma is exclusive to the black community when it's really just your household your family dynamics your proximity in your community and that type of trauma happens in various communities once they figure that out once they're dating like non-black women they get upset so they put those women through hell the things that i have seen i've had to tell some of my non-black homegirls like girl you this is unacceptable because they, they be doing you know us wrong so i feel like they do them 10 times worse it's crazy so i say all of this to say i don't really get outraged when i hear black men say oh they don't date black women i clock it i notice it you can tell by the things that they say that's why i think on that poor minds podcast when they were saying there's no baddies in atlanta it was like oh yeah they only they don't date black women they don't like black women they, that's not their preference quote unquote so it is what it is um but i don't take offense to it because it's like go over there <laughs> please like if if i hear a black man say that that's kind of a red flag to me because it lets me know oh yeah you got some shit going on within you and you're no good to nobody to no woman i wouldn't even encourage a non-black woman to date a black man who says he does not date black women if you don't date women who look like him he's he's gonna put you through the ringer sis every single time so i don't get mad about that all i will say is to the black women who were supporting shits and giggles what did kaya tell you you put your trust in stupid that's 
bless your heart but just don't support them anymore but i don't think we need to make this a big thing because they ain't shit i'm telling you most of the time those those men are usually the worst the worst and again even if you have one that is trying to do the right thing because he is running from his trauma usually he's running from his trauma that shit's gonna come out in some type of way so i i never care have them please take them please take them what is the black girlfriend effect this is oh, you, know, you just blow up the other culture yeah so you'll see a, a guy who's had a black If you have not seen that video, I, could, I would recommend going to watch it. Now, here's the thing. Usually, I try to stay out of things like this. I try not to comment on things like this. I try to stay in the middle and not be on either side of the spectrum. Which, Lord knows, I know better because in the Bible, it tells us that a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways and that... You know, it's better to pick a side than to be lukewarm. So Laura knows that, pick, that that being in the middle is never a good place to be. But here's what I will say. I recently became a fan of Fuhan and James. I'm not going to say the name of their podcast, obviously, because it has, um, it's a cuss word in it and um, I don't cuss. However, if you've watched Fuhan and James, you obviously know the name of their podcast. And so I recently became a big, big fan of them. Like I watched a snip of a video on TikTok and I was instantly hooked. They had me laughing, they had me giggling. It was, it was hilarious. It was amazing. Um, and so I had, you know, became a fan, a supporter rather. When I saw this video, I was greatly disappointed in Fuhad and James because even if they did not agree with what was being said and they were laughing just because of the um the uncomfortableness of it all you said nothing to protect us either it's not like you answered the question when he asked you which ones do you like best you was just like oh you know we we, we like them all or whatever you didn't do anything or say anything to protect us you whether you agreed or not because you didn't say anything it kind of let us know where you stood and it was so disappointing because both of you are black men and if you don't identify as black whatever you are still men of color and so by default we expect you to protect us right like even if you disagree, you could have been like, man, listen, black black women are beautiful. You know what I'm saying? I loved being with, with the black women I was with. It just didn't work cause for irreconcilable differences. However you want to word it, however you want to put it. But the fact that you said nothing and you just let Andrew say what he was going to say, and y'all were just kicking in and doing all of that, your lack of saying nothing said a lot. It said a lot and it was very disappointing. Um, being a new supporter of you all, that really made me look at things a little bit differently. Um, very disappointing. Yeah, very disappointing. Let a man talk long enough and they will show you who they are. Hey, Red. It happens all the time. That's why I'm not shocked with James and Fuhad. First of all, as someone who works flights to the UK, like on the regular, I'm not surprised. When you're walking through the city and you see couples holding hand in hand, especially when it involves a black man or a biracial man. Yeah. So it doesn't shock me because here's the thing about Atlanta, because it's like, oh, we went to Atlanta and there were no baddies, no baddies. Their definition of baddies is different from the U.S. or Atlanta's definition of baddies. I'm not shocked in the slightest. Girls in the UK, black girls, black women in the UK will tell you the same shit. And the thing about Atlanta or really any city where it's predominantly black is you will not get the same frame of black women. Yes, you know what uh, Atlanta is known for is the BBL baddies. But you will also have the regular girls that just go to work every day. And like Mecca said, because there's a lot of Nigerians in uh, Atlanta. There's literally a Nigerian embassy in Roswell, Georgia. I know because I've been there a couple of times to renew my passport, which praise the Lord, they came out with a 10-year passport because I never want to see a consulate again. Anyway, 
Yes, you'll see the baddies and whatever, the stripper builds, the Kardashian builds, but you'll also see regular women. You will also see regular, whether it's slim frame, medium frame, thick frame, fat, whatever. So for them to say, in the four days you've been in Atlanta, in the four days you've been in Atlanta, and you have not seen one baddie? Yeah, I know what you are. I never subscribed to their podcast, but of course I... um see their clips show up on tiktok and they're very funny their interactions with each other is pretty funny i think it's cute you know how they i guess they're not really too scared of expressing themselves in terms of like how they like each other as friends like oh i like i want to know if you miss me when i'm around like yeah i think it's cute but at the same time you know they are two british men yeah the country where they are the og racist and you guys are shocked exactly. that their definition of a baddie is not you know black women and to the two hosts of the poor minds podcast y'all live in atlanta too right like it's not like they're going out on the street and they're asking people for their licenses and their addresses and where they were born so y'all fall in that category too you look like uh, y'all look like a stereotypical atlanta baddie and that's fine like i'm not you know they're pretty women they're pretty girls they're i think for one's from houston i forgot what the other one's from but it's like y'all sitting there laughing and kikiing but they talking about you too and then i saw one of the hosts um respond talking about oh we tend to keep it lighthearted and you know they weren't gonna try to, I guess, argue with something about someone's preferences or whatever. I'm just like, girl, okay. Okay. Um, I don't even know. I don't even know. But my thing is, with if you hadn't told them where you were from originally, yeah. they roped you in to the Atlanta. They roped you into Atlanta. That's like me going to New York. And seeing all these men, women in New York, and I'm like, damn, there's no one attractive here. I don't know who lives in New York, who grew here, and who flew here. I don't know. You fit in that umbrella. And then for James and Fuha to get on um, the, is this still called Brilliant Idiots? With Charlemagne the God and Andrew Schultz, and sat there while Andrew Schultz was being very like anti-black towards black women. And they said nothing? Again, not surprised. We can clearly see who was big bro in there. But anyway, here's what's gonna happen. <clears throat> mm, they might come out with a statement. You know, oh, we apologize when we said this, we meant this, we didn't mean any harm, whatever. What's gonna happen is the girls who fit under that aesthetic would be like, oh my God, they're tripping. They clearly meant this. They clearly meant that. And then the incels or the ones who hate black women are going to be all of a sudden, they're going to start following shits and, uh, shits and gigs, shits yeah. and giggles, whatever the show is called. Because they had been talking about whether or not them two boys is gay. They had been questioning, you know, their friendship and how they're so close and how they talk or whatever. So now because they have basically said, oh, Atlanta ain't got no baddies. They ain't got no baddies. All of a sudden, these men are going to be like, oh you know what, maybe I should follow them. But yeah, I mean, listen, I don't lose anything because I never followed them. I saw their TikToks and things like that. Other than that, you know, no no skin off of my nose, okay? Skin off my nose. I think that's what the phrase is. Stop letting two people from across the pond tell you what is and what isn't a baddie. If you look at what the UK girls is looking like, the white UK girls. Let me let me clarify. The white UK girls. Okay. It's very interesting. But yeah, that's all I have to say about it. Okay. Like I want also want to apologize about the light. I, like it might go down again. So sorry about that. Please go down in the comment section and share your thoughts. Love to know what you think about these conversations down in the comment section. But as always, keep it respectful. You're on this channel. We're allowed to disagree, but we do it in a respectful way. So go ahead, feel free, and share your thoughts. Love to know what you think about this. But yeah, like I said, I watch their content on TikTok a lot. I find them funny, hilarious. And I'm like, okay, these are some of the, some black men that are 
talking about issues and the type of conversation they have is not like really like talking down on black women so i kind of enjoy their content but hearing how they handle themselves i know they didn't say anything like wrong or not but the fact that the white man andrew was his name is was talking down on black women and you didn't say anything and your mom your mom your sisters are black women that just really speaks in you know, talking about oh how black women did not get lords how black women like, for me that just really speaks volume and i know yes when people show you they are you guys know how we do it yeah take them for who they are and i know i feel like they just showed us who they are and that even though they don't agree with what they're saying or what the andrew guy was saying was that they were not going to stand up for black women or defend black women and for me like that speaks a lot especially when we talk about how black women are be the most disrespected group of people in the world it's really interesting and yes like in the u like in the u.s there's a one drop if you have a warm top on one drop of black you're black but in the uk they are being classified in different ways you see the black people the biracial people and then the color people and then the white people somebody say how do i know mm. it's obvious <laughs> okay so that is the construct of race or will i say color in the uk and Talking about the unlearning of the anti-blackness and uh, self-hate on black people, there are some black people that really don't, cannot stand, or they will not even date. There is, yes, they said they've dated black women before, but the fact that they could, they didn't see it, like, if, for me, like, I know some people will come and try to defend them and say, oh, they were trying to keep it lighter, they, they didn't want to seem very defensive, they were just being respectful. Sometimes when something you're very passionate about it or something is very important to you, the logic doesn't come. You act on first protect, but clearly that's not something on them, and it's fine. We now know who they are and what they stand for. Even though I know they will come out to say, oh, we didn't mean it like we, we just did not, blah, blah okay and then talking about how um they didn't say any bad be in um atlanta my issue them saying what they're saying they are talking about their preference and all that good do you wherever rocks your boat rocks your boat it's the ladies because now we're holding them accountable we're holding james and fuha accountable like oh they did not protect black women did you did you did we just see how black women did not protect black women Talking about how oh, they did not get, um, they've not seen any bad uh, in Atlanta. And those ones are like, oh, me, I'm not from here. Thank God I'm not from here. Like, really? 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 Ah! <laughs> I heard the clip. I was like almost running mad. I was like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I've never been to Atlanta, but i have seen a couple of and black women are gorgeous everywhere and i understand if it's not their cup of tea like i said james and poor they can go and say oh they've not blah, 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 blah. they can say yeah we don't see it's their it's their opinion the opinion is valid keep it like but the fact that the other black women were trying to remove themselves and then oh i'm from houston oh no i'm really That says a lot, babies. That says a lot. That says a lot. And this is where well, sometimes when we're talking about, oh, um, black men don't protect us, black women don't protect us. Do we protect ourselves? Do we stand up for ourselves? Because that's another thing that is missing in this entire conversation that I have not seen anybody talked about. Do we protect ourselves? Just because you want to keep it lighthearted, because you're just like, to the rest of them like oh no they're from mm, 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 that's not me oh, mom, mom. really says not good enough <laughs> anyway guys please go down in the comment section and share your thoughts love to know what you think about this amazing conversation down in the comment section but as always keep it respectful you're on this channel we're allowed to disagree but we we'll do it in a respectful way so go ahead feel free and share your thoughts okay share this video with somebody that you want to be part of the conversation because that's what we do here we have banging conversation so go on and share this video 
don't forget to give this video a thumbs up smash the like button because this helps youtube to push out my content for more people to see and that will be you supporting this channel and this girl here so go on and do that subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you guys in my next video do see